Hello and welcome to the Matt Lagore Show. I'm your host, Matt Lagore, and this is my show. And on my show, I love talking to entrepreneurs and business people and people with some really good ideas. Uh, I like to share their story. Um, now myself, I've been doing this show now for about a year. Uh, I do show about maybe once a month, maybe a little bit more. Before that, I did a little radio show. I did that for about a year and a half or so. And so I've been very intrigued with TV my whole life. And I just wanted to talk a little bit. I watched a little Johnny Carson the other night. And man, his show was terrible. I never realized how bad Johnny Carson was. He was a horrible interviewer. But yet, he was the pinnacle of uh, interviewing, interview talk shows at the time, late night talk shows. I just wish I was alive back in that time because I probably could have done really well. But aside from that, I'm making jokes about Johnny Carson who's dead. That's not even very nice. But uh, aside from that, I do like to, I love my show. I love to have people on to talk about things. I love people with new ideas. Uh, in life, we see people that come up with an idea and uh, you, you might think it's uh, silly or stupid and then it goes on to be an, a great idea. I mean, there's many people like that. If you think of someone like Elon Musk, uh, they think they thought he was crazy for wanting to start his own space program. Yet look at it today with SpaceX. Uh, they thought the electric car was a joke. Uh, here he is now. He's transformed it into one of the most um, profitable and biggest car companies in the world right now. And while I was thinking about that, I did a little research on people who had ideas that seemed at first to be ridiculous, uh, uh, didn't make any sense, but turned out to be. Uh, incredibly profitable uh, and and one of them was uh, the slinky um, the slinky uh, was developed uh, sometime around you know 1945 believe it or not that long ago the slinky is just a, if you if you don't know what a slinky is I'm sure you do it's just a long spring uh, you can take it and make it walk downstairs and everything now the, the guy who invented that was Richard James and you know how much money he made on the Slinky? He made $250 million on the Slinky. I've had several Slinkies myself. I think anybody my age, uh, probably even younger, I know my daughter has a Slinky and they always get tangled up and wrecked and you've got to buy another one. You can't have too many Slinkies. Uh, the other thing was a Snuggie. The Snuggie, everybody laughed at that. It was that, it was that blanket you wore. Yet that, that made $200 million dollars the Snuggie, 250 million on the Slinky. So when you have an idea, what do you do with it? You know, it's easy to talk about it and never get anywhere with it. It might even uh, it get a little, get somewhere and then you give up on it because you don't think anybody likes it. It's kind of like pushing a boulder uphill. Well, today I have a friend on uh, my show today. His name is Matt Govani. Did I say that right? Uh, Gavoni. Gavoni. Right. I always say the last name wrong. <laughs> oh, it's easy right. to get your first name right because it's the same as mine. Sure. Matt Gavoni. And Matt, you are the inventor of the game called Rocket Ball. Yes, yes, Matt. Um, the, the game Rocket Ball, um, it actually starts from way back. Um, growing up, I grew up um, in a family of eight. Um, we always had uh, a love for soccer. Um, I was always at uh, my brother's soccer games. Um, I loved soccer from the get-go. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I played right up through high school. And, um, you know, it was funny because this past um, Christmas, my son was playing a video game. It was called Rocket League. And Rocket League um, is a game that a lot of kids play on Xbox, PlayStation. It involves cars and a large soccer ball. Um, so my son Chad, he was playing it, and I looked at Chad and said, "Hey, Chad, you know, can I try that game? Why not?" You know, and he's like, "Yeah, Dad, go ahead and play it." Um, so I sat down and I started playing Rocket League, and I'm like, "Man, this game is actually pretty fun." Yeah. You know, it's three games versus uh, I'm sorry, three cars versus three cars, and you hit around a big ball to score in nets. Um, and that that started off my idea. I'm like, you know what? If I could bring this game to real life for kids to play. You know, I might have an idea. Maybe kids would uh, would take to this. Yeah, right. So you saw a uh, an Xbox PlayStation game that was fun, and you said to yourself, "Hey, what if I could bring kids into real life into this? Right? Like sure. if they could really sit That's in the right. car and and knock it around, it would be fun." So you had the idea. How, how long ago was that? Uh, the idea started. It was probably again uh, this past December. Um, less than a year ago. Less than a year ago. Yeah. Um, I saw the again. I saw the game. I sat down. I played it. Um, 
and again, I took to it. I yeah. would, and then even my son's friends, they were playing it. Yeah. Um, I went online, and I'm like, man, millions of kids are playing this game. Mm -hmm. uh, even, uh, believe it or not, adults are playing it. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. uh, it was just one of those games in, uh, that, that people were taking to. So your next step after that? Uh, after that, um, you know, I, I, I tried to come up with them thinking, you know what, uh, what type of vehicle could I use for this game? I need a vehicle that's going to be able to go forward, go backwards, um, almost like a zero turn radius mm -hmm. uh, lawnmower. Yep. And, um, you know, so I was thinking, I'm like, what can I use for a car? Uh, it just happened that that Christmas, uh, my wife and I gave my daughter a car that uh, would help contribute to the actual design of the rocket ball car. What was it? Uh, what it is is it's um, it's like a small uh, uh, plastic car. It's got wheels on the sides. Um, kind of like a Barbie car or like a little truck or yeah, something like that? Yeah, similar to that. Yeah. Do they sit in it? Was it something they'd get in and drive themselves? Exactly. Yeah. It's got uh, controls on the sides, yeah. two controls. It's not a steering wheel. Yeah. It's got controls on the side. And if you, uh, they pretty much work uh, either independently of each other or together. Yeah. Um, so with that in mind, I took that concept of that car um, and I was in my basement. I actually uh, was uh, tinkering around with it. I took it apart. I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? How can I link Rocket Ball with this car to make uh, a game for kids? Mm -hmm. um, and after uh, six months of planning and looking and uh, trying to come up with something, um, I came up with a prototype for this uh, Rocket Ball car. And how many cars do you have now? Uh, right now, I have two cars made. Two working cars. Two working cars. Yeah. Um, and one of the main things I added to the car is not only a cage around the car to protect it, yeah. but I also added a plow on the front of the car to, to push the ball like mm -hmm. that in Rocket League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the ball that it'll be pushing is a fairly large, large ball. Like, like Exactly. You're probably talking like a ball like this yeah, big. Yeah, so bigger than a beach ball. Then. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. All right. So obviously you must be some kind of inventor and you're always tinkering, and you probably work in a laboratory, and may maybe you have some patents already? Yeah, that, uh, that'll, that'll come in time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do you do? Come in time. what do you do? What do you do? Matt, I'm actually a public educator. Yeah. Um, I've always uh, enjoyed working with kids, um, coming up with uh, ideas uh, for kids to use. Um, but even myself, I'm like a big kid. Yeah. You know, uh, for those who know me, for the for the the kids, the parents, uh, family, etc. Yeah. Um, I've always been the youngest of six, um, and like I said, back to my younger years, you know, uh, uh, I was the kid they always put in that hit ho ho um, hockey pucks at. You know. Uh, <laughs> you were always the goalie, right? <laughs> the goalie. I was always a goalie. How did I become a goalie? <laughs> goalie uh, or or usually right field for someone who's yeah, the right <laughs> So, okay, so, so you're a public educator, but I mean, are you handy? Uh, yeah, you know what, um, I'm, uh, I'm actually a plumber, mm -hmm. um, and um, I'm just the type of person, I get an idea in my head, and then um, I'll, I'll take it to, uh, I'll, I'll see how far I can run with it. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, um, they're just content with, you know, waking up in the morning, going to work, and, you know, uh, doing what they have to do for the day, and uh, going to bed at night yeah um, you know but there's a part of me inside that says you know if you don't try how would you ever know yeah. you know uh, if I never uh, jumped on this idea I would never know in the long run if it's a failure a success or whatnot yeah right so so you had your idea you started making it now um, after you like you did you make the first prototypes Yes, I did, exactly. So That's you right. built it yourself, all right? That's right. And n so now, like, obviously, you know, the, the, heart, the, the idea, you've got it in motion. What are your next steps now? Uh, the, the next steps um, would be to uh, um, build more of these cars. Yeah. Um, you know, I would have to have a, what I'd like to do is have a day where kids can come and use them, mm -hmm. uh, get familiar with the cars, how they work. Um, you know, and just kind of have a, um, um, a, a learning session, um, whether it's at a, you know, at um, a gym or mm -hmm. court or whatnot. Yeah. Um, and once uh, word spreads about the cars, <coughs> excuse me, 
Um, I have right now four more in the process of being built. Yeah. And then after that, if the idea takes off, I'd like to have even more built. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a three on three game. Exactly. Right? That's correct. And uh, is there like a time limit on it? Like, do they ha or is it too certain amount of goals? What's the what? How do you how do you play the game? Yeah, I've been actually uh, with that matter, been kind of like uh, toying back and forth about how much time this and that. Um, and again, even watching Rocket League on Xbox, they're short games. So I figure maybe like a 10 minute game, three mm -hmm. versus three, uh, there'll be goals on each end. Uh, there'll be a referee in the game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the kids will, will, will wear helmets for safety. Yeah. Um, and then it'll just be a 10 minute game and whoever scores the most goals wins. Yeah. Did you ever used to get on the Cape when you were a kid? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. You go to the fun, the fun zone, the, 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 the go-karts, uh, the right. bumper cars or whatever. I, I couldn't get enough of places like that when I was a kid. Matter of fact, when I was like seven or eight years old, we used to go to Revere Beach and they used to have an arcade oh, yeah. there yeah, and sure. they had bumper cars. Yeah. And I would ride those bumper cars until my dad just couldn't take it anymore, which, oh, would, yeah. which would be a long time because he was very patient with that. One time he just, he wanted to get it out of my system. Yeah. So he thought he'd let me ride it forever. It, there was no end to it. Finally, we just went home. Oh, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> kids love stuff like that. And there's nothing better than smashing into your friend, you know, and then scoring a goal on top of it. Sure. I, I love the idea. So let's go back to you now. So where did you, where, where is your background from? Like you're a plumber, right? Exactly. Public That's right. educator. That's uh, right. Where'd you grow up? Um, I actually met, I grew up in Plymouth, Massachusetts, um, right on the water. It was, uh, it's funny because when you, when you live in front of the ocean, you just tend to, <laughs> You tend to not go there as much as if you don't. <laughs> um, but anyways, I grew up in Plymouth. Um, I grew up in a large family of eight. Um, uh, growing up, uh, I grew up, uh, what, my uh, mother passed away when I was younger. Um, so I pretty much, you know, my father kind of took the reins from there with mm -hmm. me. Um, but I, I, a lot of people at the time, um, you know, they, they were obviously concerned with me. Because they were not sure if I could, you know, make it through high school, make it through college, um, but me being a, de a determined individual, um, you know, I took the rain. I, I took. Uh, uh, I took charge. Yeah. Um, Did you go to high school for you know, like a vocational school? No, or? I just went to uh, just a regular high school, regular Plymouth high North school. High School. Yeah. Did you go? And what did you go to college for? Uh, I went to college for uh, actually communications. Mm -hmm. um, I went through high school, then into college. Um, I went to Bridgewater State College, mm -hmm. um, and uh, believe it or not, I actually started off working in the media field, uh, which I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, but after that, you know what? I, I fell in love with uh, plumbing, mm -hmm. um, and from there, then I started uh, different uh, work for different plumbing companies. Wow! So it's funny how life throws you a curveball, right? Exactly. You know, you could, exactly. I went to school for HVAC. To, oh, be, yeah. to work in HVAC. Yeah, sure. Came out of school. They did it for a little while. There's no interest in it, no passion in it. You know, oh, and then yeah, time yeah. goes on, leads on. You know, and you, you move on and you do different things. I don't yeah. think that when you were 18, you probably saw yourself as a public educator, right? Oh you, no, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you know, being a, an inventor, have you ever had any other kind of ideas you've come up with in the um, past? You know what, Matt? I not off the top of my head. But honestly, I've always been like a, a, a creative type of person, but I've never acted on them, you yeah. know? And, and like I, I go back to a phrase, if, if you never act on something, you'll just never know. Right. And whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea, um, you'll always wonder, you yeah. know, could that have been something? Um, you, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so with Rocketball, I figure, you know what, why not give it a try? Um, and if it, you know, and hopefully it works. How many kids do you have? Uh, right now, I have two. Two kids. Two kids. Yeah. You said that right now. You're going to have more? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have two kids. What do they think of it? You know what? Uh, they actually, uh, they love it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, I've had their friends over the house. Um, I've coached soccer. I've coached basketball. I've had teams over. Um, the kids just, I mean, they honestly, they just, they can't really get enough of the, the cars. <laughs> you know, I've, sometimes the parents have to pull them out. They're like, come on, we got to go, you know, and, but the kids want to keep playing. Yeah. You know, I forgot to say it earlier, but we'll, we'll have it on the screen and everything. Oh, yeah. What, how do, can people see Rocketball? 
Is there a website they can go to or anything they can see right now? Just where they, I know it's, it's early on, oh, there's yeah, some prototypes, yeah, sure. but yeah. is there somewhere they can go see some pictures of it? You know, is there anything they can do, like if they're interested in it? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, what they can do is, um, I actually have an Instagram page up. It's um, rocketball underscore 2017. Yep. And there's some short videos in there. There's pictures. Um, um, and there's also, I mean, if anyone, you know, wanted to donate, um, there is a GoFundMe page on there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they could get a T-shirt. Yep. Um, but, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty much uh, right now that's where I have all the pictures, my ideas. Okay. So say it again. Uh, yes. It's Instagram, Rocketball. Under, uh, underscore 2017. All right, all right. We'll have that on the screen, too. So oh, yeah, see. yeah, sure. All right, great. So people can see it that way. Now, um, public educator, uh, do you think maybe you could float this out to some of the schools and uh, have something in the, in the uh, every school could have this, uh, <laughs> their own version of Rocketball? Hey, I mean, hey, you know, times true. are changing. You may, maybe have a Rocketball League. Oh, every yeah. team, every school has their own Rocketball League. Oh, exactly. That would actually, that's a good idea, man. I never thought of that, I never thought of that one. That's good. Um, it, it's funny to say that because I was thinking of, um, of uh, you know, bringing it to different schools. Maybe they let me you know, have the kids try it, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe during a half day or, or whatnot. Yeah. Some, um, but, uh, yeah, that would actually be a great idea. Because cause this is going to take some, like, ground ground level, uh, the grassroots, let's say, grassroots kind of, uh, you know, working the, work the, uh, the people, uh, going to the... Uh, the uh, town, the state fair, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that kind of stuff. I mean, not sure. the state fair, but, but oh, you know, yeah, it is yeah. going to take stuff like that. Uh, I, th I do think the concept is excellent. I really yeah. do, you know, but it's going to take that. Now, have you thought of any kind of like marketing for it? Um, you know, right now it's, uh, it's word of mouth. Yeah. Um, and once I get all six cars up and running, um, again, I plan to have a day. Um, there's a place that I've been working with TCs in Bill Rucka. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm going to schedule a day there that the kids can come, use them, um, and, and just kind of, uh, you know, spread it from there. Um, you know, I still have to work on a website. I have handouts, um, and, and that's where I'm starting right now. Yeah, that's good. That's the way to do it, you know. Uh, so what, what uh, advice do you have for any, um, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, amateur um, inventors <laughs> out there? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, my advice, honestly... Um, I mean, you only live once, right? Yeah, right. Um, so, I mean, if you have an idea, um, you know, it, again, I'll say over and over, but um, you'll never know if you never act on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I know there's a lot of people out there that I've talked to that said, oh, you know, you could do this, you could do that. Um, you know, which is great. It's a lot of great advice. Good advice? Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of good advice coming in. Any, any uh, naysayers out there? Um, you know what, Matt, when I first started, I always had my, a couple doubters, yeah. um, which, you know, which kind of at first kind of veered me off and I was thinking, you know what, maybe, you know, maybe this wouldn't work, but you know what, I've had other ideas in the past, which I kind of, um, steered away from, yeah. but for some reason, this idea is actually stuck. Mm -hmm. It really has. I mean, I've thought about it, you know, week after week and I'm like, you know what, I've not seen anything that's similar to this. Um, or if there is something similar out there, um, the, the type of car in the, in the way the car drives, I, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but back to your point, like I said, if you have an idea, go for it. Yeah. You know, um, you, you ever hear Tito's Vodka? Uh, it, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tito's yeah, Vodka. Yeah, very, very, yeah. very sure. popular yeah. vodka now. I, I heard an interview with him, and he was, like, he created this himself. Like, he created the recipe. He, he loved vodka. And so he was trying to get it promoted and, and nobody would, nobody would listen to him. You know, there's too many other vodkas, too many. Other... And he would go around at supermarkets and like, Hey, you want to try my vodka? Oh, I mean, can you, if some guy came up to me, you want to, no, I don't want to try anything you have. But now, you know what the number one vodka is in most bars is Tito's vodka. Oh, wow. Wow. So, I mean, here's a guy and the guy's, you know, probably somewhere around our age, you know, you're a little younger than me, but somewhere sure. around our age. Yeah. And now he's got an incredibly uh, popular vodka line. But one of the things he said is when it comes to being an entrepreneur and an idea, yeah. you really have to go way past that, that point of where it makes sense. 
Like, you know, That's you know, you, you, you got to go, you got to push back. The, and it's almost like the universe says to you, like, we're going to put some obstacles in your way. See if you're really serious, you know? Yeah, sure. And if you're really yeah. serious, and then one day, all of a sudden, all that work comes together, you know? Yeah. So, okay, Rocket Ball, we can see it on Instagram. Um, what are your kids' names again? Uh, Chad and Kaylee. Chad, Chad and, and Kaylee. Kaylee, all right. So they're the prototype drivers, right? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they're the expert drivers on it. Yeah, my, my daughter more so than my son, but because uh, he's too busy playing Rocket League in the house. Oh, he's too but, busy uh, playing. He's playing virtual. He's playing virtual. But uh, no, he has been in the cars. Uh, my daughter loves the cars. She's like I said, she's had friends over. Um, they've driven the cars. Uh, but you know, we've tested them on different um, different types of pavements. Yeah. Um, they actually work pretty good on in a gym. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are pictures of them on. Uh, on asphalt, yeah. But you know, they they do work. Um, They're better on like a, a hard, flat, surf, flat level level exactly. surface, like a gymnasium or or like the parquet or a, a, a tile sure. floor, something That's heavy right. duty like that. Exactly. So, what's your ultimate goal with Rocket Ball? Um, the ultimate goal, Matt, would be, um, you know, someday I would love to see uh, fifty to hundred of these cars going at once, mm -hmm. whether it be a big tournament, um, you know. And hey, I, I mean, I have big dreams. Um, maybe across the whole nation, a whole, you know, um, a, a whole bunch of these cars. Um, a whole, a whole league, or a whole, a whole maybe not a league, but a whole uh, version of rocket ball throughout the country. Uh, sure. What else? Anything else? Um, you know, I just like to see uh, you know everyone take part in it. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I've always been a a big pusher of of kids having fun. Mm -hmm. You know, when a kid has fun. It puts a smile on my face. I mean, mm -hmm. I sit back and laugh. Yeah. Um, you know, life is too short. You know, laughter is what, you know, laughter, fun, uh, that's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. in, in, in kids, they bring that out of me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but, I, I mean, the more kids are, that are happier, the more I'm happier, the, the funner life is. Well, yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, really, uh, ha happiness. If you're not if you're not happy, you're not laughing. It's a pretty dull life, right? Exactly. And, that. and it's, it's funny when you watch kids. I went to the beach yesterday with my girls, oh, and yeah. just watching yeah. them play with other girls. It is. It, it it brings you joy to watch them having a good time. You know, we sure. we go and I watch our kids play soccer and everything together, yeah. and it's fun to watch them like having fun together. It like it really like lifts you. You know. So I think that's a great that's a great uh, uh, goal, great point of view. Now let's say now how big. Like, can I fit in a rocket ball car or am I too big? Uh, yeah, you'd be too big. Okay, so but, I, it's not a, I, right. I, but maybe we could build some bigger cars at some point. Yeah, that, uh, actually, that's, uh, I forgot to, forgot to mention, but, um, again, these are the prototype cars. Yeah. Um, you could probably fit a, a child maybe up to about 120 pounds in it max. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, I have thought about making them larger for, hey, that, I mean, that's a great idea for adults. Mm -hmm. Why not get adults in these cars? And, um, I mean, they have uh, tracks, like you mentioned earlier, where, you know, parents can uh, drive go-karts around yeah. tracks, things like that. Um, you know, maybe a, an adult league someday, mm -hmm. you know, when, where parents can go get away from the kids and, you know, go have some fun. Yeah, it might be so. nice to smash your own kids around a little bit, though. You well, know? yeah, the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, like, but is there, like, like is there opportunity for... Um, you know, marketing like a your own car or like your own version of it, or maybe it, would there be like a helmet or gloves? You know, because there's always add-ons. You know. Sure, sure, exactly. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, I mean, right now, um, you know, I mean, the frame itself um, that was um, I worked with another guy. We crafted that mm -hmm. to fit the cars, things like that. Uh, maybe down the road, you know. Um, uh, right now, I'm not in the. St I don't want to sell the cars. Yeah. But you're right. Maybe like you know, um, helmets, special helmets for teams, uh, mm -hmm. shirts designed for teams. Yeah. Um, you know, things on that idea. Yeah. So it sounds like mostly though, it's kind of be like a game, like you go to like a destination uh, to to kind of play that way. You know, it, like I mean, you think about the things you go to. You go to play paintball, right? Yeah. There's a go kart place right over here in Wilmington. You can go to. It's a really nice go kart place. Sure. You know, you yeah. go there. People in, the, in these places are packed. You know, they have birthday parties or whatever. So it's going to be more like a destination type uh, uh, game. Exactly. Yeah. yeah Rob, that would be the thing. The kids come to play, and then you know um, they'd have their fun and excitement, and then 
you know, hopefully they would be a returning uh, customer. All right. Okay. So Rocket Ball, we can see Rocket Ball on Instagram, Instagram. Rocket Ball underscore 2017. Yep. Right. And um, if you have any um, uh, questions you want to text me, I mean, you could always text me at uh, 617-901-1336. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said, I'd be more than happy to, to respond to that as well. All right. All right, so Matt Gavoni. That's correct. I That's said correct. it right. I always, uh, it's not a Matt Lagore show unless I say the guest last name wrong. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Matt, thank you for hey, being a guest on the show. Good thank luck you, with Rocketball, yep. and we will do our best to promote it as much as we can. All right, thank All right. you very much, Matt. Okay. All right, well, thanks for watching another Matt Lagore show. We had an interesting guest, Rocketball. All right, well, it wasn't Rocketball. Matt Gavoni was the guest with Rocketball. But uh, pretty soon we're going to be able to go out and play that game. All right, thanks for watching Matt Lagore Show. You can always check me out on YouTube and the Matt Lagore Show on Facebook. Thanks a lot.